I'm an hour outside Melbourne, Australia, beside one of the world's biggest batteries. Those Tesla branded white boxes you see behind me are at the centre of this country's dizzying transition from coal to renewables. And it all started with an Elon Musk Twitter brag. Let me explain. Back in 2016, the state of South Australia was facing an energy crisis. It had closed its last coal-fired power plant, leaving the province of 1.8 million people reliant on rooftop solar, wind farms and power imports from neighbouring states. When a freak storm caused a statewide blackout, a feverish debate ensued over the reliability of renewables. Enter Tesla. The EV upstart boasted on Twitter it had the solution. It would get the world's first big battery up and running in the state within 100 days. This claim caught the eye of Australian software billionaire and climate activist Mike Cannon-Brooks, who tweeted back offering to help with financing if Tesla could come good on its brag. Elon Musk personally threw down the gauntlet. Tesla would get it done within 100 days or it would give them their money back. The race was on and to the astonishment of many, Tesla succeeded. Today, almost seven years later, that battery and others like it have become a cornerstone of a shockingly rapid energy transition. Many more are being built as we speak. The task is urgent. Unlike many other countries, Australia's energy transition has been driven by economics rather than policy. Renewables have become so cheap they are out-competing coal plants, forcing them to shut down early. By the middle of the next decade, Australia will have shut down nearly all of its coal plants, which today provide more than half of the nation's power. Gas stations are not being built to replace them, and nuclear power is banned. That leaves solar and wind, backed up by batteries, as pretty much the only real option in the country's post-coal future. Other countries, of course, are also transitioning to renewables, but it's the pace and extent of change in Australia that is astounding. Between now and the end of the next decade, Australia will go from about 65% reliant on fossil fuels for its electricity, most of that coming from coal, to almost 100% reliant on wind, solar, some hydro and storage. That will require massive build-out of renewables at a conservatively estimated cost of 320 billion Australian dollars. But so far, the big money and increasingly government policy is backing renewables and zero carbon storage. If that remains the case, Australia will be a cutting edge test, empowering a rich, industrialised nation almost entirely with sun and wind. So with the world watching, Australia needs to get building and fast.